What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some more fun with our car. We shot it with the elephant gun. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Took about three shots from the elephant gun and it shut it down. Pretty tough car. But we still got a lot of car to have some fun with. So I've got it set up and today we're gonna blast it with a few full autos. Let's go get to it. So here's what's left of the Honda Accord. There's not a whole lot left. I busted out all the glass and we've already shot the motor, but I've always wanted to spray the side of a car with a full auto. Today's my chance. But you know, you don't just want to shoot the car. It's just sheet metal. That's not very exciting. So let's throw a few things in there. Get this out of here. All right, I got some nacho cheese and some gravy. Let's toss that in the, that one in the passenger seat. Throw this one over here in the driver's seat, right there. I don't know if you know this or not, but gravy and nacho cheese sauce is not exactly cheap. So a big thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. If you need anything that would be considered outdoor recreation, be sure and check them out. They've got you covered and make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTICS. It'll get you $20 off any merchandise order that's $100 or more. Again, a big thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. Darn it, I missed the window. Well, I did have a one gallon water jug. This is a, a gallon of ranch. Check that back there. I got some eggplants. Nobody likes eggplant. Oh my gosh. Throw that one in there. Water jug busted. I'm gonna throw it in there anyways. Got a big old jar of pickles. Set this one right here at the door. All right, I got us a watermelon. Um, I put the watermelon, put it, I shoved it right here. Uh, right in the windshield, near the door. Yeah, right there. It's gonna be really hard for me to explain all this to the junkyard when I take this thing to scrap it. Okay, we're good to go. I've got the full auto AR-15 and we're gonna be loaded up with some PMC bronze 5.56 five, full metal jackets. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's let her rip, right? Let's try again. <laughs> okay, so we've got lots of little holes through the doors here. Got a little bit of smoke, it looks like. Oh, the gravy got hit. Watermelon is still okay. The pickles. Oh gosh. It smells so bad. Ew. <laughs> Look at all this gravy inside this car. That is disgusting. <laughs> okay. We don't have many holes out the other side. I'm pretty surprised. One, two, look at this. These rounds stopped in the door. Need my little pineapple here. Oh, God. There is the uh, lid to the jar of pickles. Yeah, we only have a few holes in this door. So most of them stopped over there. Look at all that gravy. That is so disgusting. Oh, looks like the eggplant got hit a few times. Stupid eggplant. Pineapple's fine and the nacho cheese sauce didn't get hit. So I have a 90 round snail drum full of 5.56 five, that I'm gonna dump on this car. But before we do, let's hit it with 458 SOCOM. This is the CMMG MKW15 chambered in 458 SOCOM. And I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 300 grain jacket at hollow points. I'm gonna try to hit the watermelon with the first mag. And then the second mag, I'm gonna try to get that pineapple. hit the watermelon that's for sure all right i've got one more mag i want to hit the pineapple but the angle i'm at i'm not even going to be shooting through the door so i'm going to squat down shoot through the door and see if we hit it 
Hopefully this don't knock me over. All right, I think about right there. <laughs> I think we hit it. You can see a big difference in the 458 SOCOM holes and the 556 holes. Okay, let's have a look-see. <laughs> so we shot through this post right here with the 458 and we definitely hit the watermelon. <laughs> oh, I can't open the door anymore. I'm not gonna open it from the inside because I'm afraid this door won't shut after we open it. Sort of. Oh, that's the, that's the uh, cable to open the door. <laughs> so yeah, definitely don't wanna try to open the door. But we hit our watermelon, tore up the door on that second mag. I mean, just blew all through it. It looks like one of those 458 SOCOM rounds came through and hit right here, but did not make it through the other side. We shot that second mag. It went through the first door. Yeah, we hit our pineapple at least once. <laughs> and all those other rounds, looks like most of them made it through the driver's side door. Oh, all right. Door still works. Oh, the ranch dressing got hit too. <laughs> I thought I could smell it. We're gonna move this nacho cheese over there. Same with pineapple. And what's left of this eggplant. There you go. as fast as the 90 round snail drum but it was still fun all right let's have a look see here i know for a fact that we hit the nacho cheese oh oh that is so bad we have a lot of holes in the door we've got a lot more holes coming out this side this time but still not that many for 90 rounds that's not many holes coming out the other door let's see if we can still open this hey all right Honda makes a good door. <laughs> that is so nasty. This is awful. This is just absolutely awful. <laughs> okay, one more thing and then I'm done. I've got the full auto 458 again, but this time we have some Underwood ammo, 300 grain brass solids. And I'm gonna put all 10 through that hood. See what happens. Let her rip, tater chip. Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay, so these are from the elephant gun. We may have had one new hole there. Got a hole right here in the intake, broke all this up. This is aluminum, I believe, and it seems to be pretty brittle. Look at that, that ripped right through there. Broke that piece. Look at that, that's the whole piece of it. Hit this wiring harness. Got another hole right there. I think the 458 SOCOM would do a pretty good job at shutting down a motor as well. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun destroying this car. Unfortunately, this is the last time you're probably gonna see it. We may get another car for the range to goof around in, but this one's going to the junkyard and I'm gonna have a lot of explaining to do. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget Christmas is coming up. And if you wanna pick up a Kentucky Ballistics t-shirt, use my link in the description down below. It'll take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. Also be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to those can also be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.